back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a story, The Wish, written by a British writer, Roald Dahl. And this story is about a boy. It is full of his fantasy and his imagination. We see there is a narrator. He explains what this little boy does. There are only two characters we need to remember from this story. We see the story through the point of view of a narrator and a boy. And we all know childhood is full of imagination, full of fantasy. That's what we see in this story. I've picked summary from royaldalsfans.com and it says the story opens with a small boy picking scab off his knee. As he sits on the stairs, he becomes aware of the large red, black and yellow carpet that stretches to the front door. He decides that the red patches are red hot lumps of coal that will burn him up completely. And the black patches are poisonous snakes that will bite him and kill him. If he can make it all the way across without getting burned or bitten, he will get a puppy for his birthday tomorrow. The boy begins his quest. The first part is easy going, but he reaches some difficult parts and has to take long strides. He wobbles but stretches out his arms to steady himself. He reaches a turning point and goes left because although it seems more difficult, there's less black. He's very afraid of the snakes. He reaches the halfway point and knows he cannot turn back or jump off. He begins to feel panic rising in his chest. He takes another step to the only closed yellow piece and his foot is only a centimeter from a black patch. A snake stares and raises its head to watch him. I'm not touching you. You must not bite me, he thinks. Another snake rises as well and the child is frozen with terror for several minutes. The next step is a very long one, too long to jump for him. The child manages to get one foot across and transfers his weight. He tries to then bring up his back foot but cannot. He was doing the splits and he was stuck. He looked down at the oily bodies of the snake. He began to wibble. But this time, waving his arms only made it worse. He was starting to go over. The next thing he saw was the bare hand of his going right into the middle of a great glistening mass of black and he gave one piercing cry as it touched Eventually, when he tries to balance his body to escape away from all the patches, he fell off on the ground and he cries loudly. Out in the sunshine, far away behind the house, the mother was looking for her son. So this is how the story ends. This story is totally about the childhood imagination and fantasy. At his, as he sees a black and uh, red spot on the carpet, he thinks these spots are very dangerous the only surface zone for him was yellow so while trying to balance his body he caught himself on the ground he couldn't do that so yeah it's about the story the wish written by roald tal now time for important question answer from the book what did the child do to the scab of his knee as the story starts we see him outside the house and he is picking a scab of the knee so, his, uh, the answer to this question is the child picked a scab of his knee. The child picked a scab of his knee. Next question, what kind of effect did the carpet have on the child? He was afraid of snakes walking across the carpet. He imagines there are three different spots and three different spots identifies something else for him. He thinks black spots are snakes. Red spots are fire and yellow is the safe zone for him. What was he afraid of while walking across the carpet? He was afraid of snakes walking across the carpet. What motivated and encouraged the child to start and continue his journey? Though he imagines the carpet is filled with the dangerous creature like snake and there is also fire, there is something that has motivated him to continue his journey. 
and that motivation is his birthday his birthday is next day and he is going to get a puppy so a puppy he would be given for his birthday the following day motivated and encouraged him to start and continue on his birthday a puppy he would be given for his birthday the following day motivated and encouraged him to start and continue on his journey what did child see as he looked down on the black patterns of the carpet the child saw the oily bodies of the snakes writhing as he looked down on the black patterns of the carpet which images and metaphors are used in the story in the story imagery is built on metaphors the first image he present is the scab because of the boy's overwhelming curiosity the scab represents a special challenge he is never able to resist in his mind the carpet comes alive with its image the carpet then becomes a metaphor for the challenges the boy face to achieve his goal the carpet then becomes the metaphor for the challenges the boy faces to achieve his goal the red spots can be hot coals which can burn him the black parts are writhing poisonous snakes which represents evil falsehoods and temptations the boy's worry of crossing the carpet is compared to the apprehension he will feel while growing up as he faces real obstacles in his path to maturity next question the story shows the events through the eyes of the narrator and the child comparing two styles who presents a more interesting or effective view for the readers why the child presents a more interesting view for the reader through this the child presents a more interesting view for the reader through his curious and intense imagination the scene before him as witnessed is obvious and suspenseful we feel that the images created we feel that the images created in his mind are real and he is really in danger he imagines the colorful carpet as a piece of an adventure journey for him through his consciousness we encounter red hot lumps of coal and snakes and if they are real before us is the wish a story about self confidence overcoming fear or about greed give your arguments this is a story about self confidence overcoming fear the initial success concerning the scab gives the child confidence and gives him the self image of a hero so he looks for a greater challenge in the beginning he becomes anxious later he accepts the challenge to cross the carpet safely it could be argued that the boy is motivated by greed wanting to the dog but that seems secondary to the desire to face and overcome the challenge the boy is not sure that he is really going to be rewarded with puppy or not okay that's about the story the wish from compulsory english book grade 11 i hope you like this video and you'll be sharing with your friends thank you so much for watching and have a happy learning